Hey guys, it's CSPN 001 here, part two of Let's Play uh, Call of Duty Ghost Blind. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. So in the first part, we did the furlong. Okay, this is called Brave New World. Hey, it's a reference to a book I have to read this year. I'm sorry I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Riley. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab your gear, let's move. Riley! Like I've, like I've heard, okay, the honey badger, so this is maybe the new assault rifle. What kind of handgun is this? We're checking it now. So I'm assuming this is gonna be sort of the combat tutorial mission. The M9A1. Okay, sounds good. We have grenades, I can see, and no specials. So I'm assuming this is going to be our combat introductory mission after the prologue. They're here. Hmm. Come on, boy. Old movie theater. Wow. Oh, yes, the new streamlined jumping over stuff maneuver. Or mantling, I think, would be the correct phrase of it instead of... No, I'm just going to call it jumping over stuff maneuver, because I like that better. Okay, so... Yeah, from this point on, the walkthrough Let's Play is totally blind, so I really don't know what I'm going to be doing most of the time. Just like with Black Ops 2 and... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 and Uncharted 3, but I mean, I don't plan to ever do another Uncharted game blind. Just keep moving. Call of Duties are perfect to do blind because you don't have to have really that much experience with these games, and they're not, like, super story-driven or super, super challenging, at least on regular. The heck is that? It's another lamp. Lamps, on, lamps, lamps. Oh, hello, dear. For a second, I thought you were an enemy. Guess why I was getting hungry. Clearly. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Back, Ooh, the slide maneuver. That's going to be interesting in multiplayer. That's a new dolphin dive. Meet with team two at the wall. So I know you may not always be able to read that perfectly. That's because I have the camera zoomed in a little more in this project and future ones because it does end up making the quality look a little bit better overall, even if it cuts off a tiny bit of the screen. Take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. So I wonder if we're officially the ghosts yet, or if we're still just currently soldiers. I didn't read the thing at the bottom of the screen, so I don't know. Ooh, that probably was not a good thing. Get ready. Come on. Search. Mill Rocks yeah. Coffee. Someone's out there. Wait for Riley. If he attacks a target, shoot to kill. Ooh, Riley. You're going to kill something for us, puppy. Whoa. So like I've already uh, said, but I can't remember if I got to finish saying it. It might have gotten cut off mid-sentence. Mid if you guys freaking kill Riley, we are going to be very, very angry. The SC-2010. I kind of, I don't know what I want to try out. Uh... You know what, let's pull it out. I don't know. It's probably better than a handgun. Well, it's dead now anyway, isn't it? So, what's the problem? What is this? Giant green hospital sign. Now, I've also, I read somewhere that there's going to be, like, ways to do, like, almost little bonus missions and stuff in the game. Sort of like the Strike Force missions or, like, little mini-games or something by picking up certain items, is what I read. I don't know if that's true, because that was like a couple weeks ago. So, I don't know. And guys, please, no spoilers in the comments. If you do put spoilers in the comments, I will delete the comments. Can I blow up the gas station, please? Probably not. What is here? Oh, you're friendly. Dang it, I almost thought I snuck up on you. Okay, circle is still a knife. That's what I expected. Grenade, you are not killing me this quickly in the game. Juice! <laughs> it looks 
like a Coke machine, but it's not even close to a Coke machine. Okay, I should probably take cover now. I should probably stop screwing around. I'm kind of afraid to move forward because I don't want the gas station to, like, explode in my face or something. $5,500 for a gallon of gas? Jeez, that, that looked like expensive gas, if that was true. But then again, it said the Middle East got destroyed in a nuclear war, so at least that's what I would imply from it, or believe from it. What is this? Ooh, an M14. Like, this hasn't been used in the past, like, five Call of Duties. Well, no, that's not true at all, but it... Whatever. I'm not even going to say anything now. I'm assuming that that helicopter is hostile, so I'm going to shoot the people in it. And I don't know how many trophies I'll get during this uh, Let's Play. We'll see as the game goes on. Wow, I am sucking today. Uh, will you peek your head back out? No, you will not. Okay. Dead. The guns make sort of different sounds, which they actually sound maybe a little more realistic. I don't know. Uh, hold on a second, guys. That's getting a little bit loud. Gonna bump it down to about 25 volume. Ah, that's a little bit better. Grenade, you are not world at warring me today, okay? Is that understood? You are not world at warring me. Okay, killing lots of stuff, and it looks like these cars won't explode, which is probably a good thing, for now at least. So it looks like this SA-805, maybe that's going to be the Federation's main weapon in this game. No, this thing's got some armor piercing to it. Come here, Riley. Come bite some people on the butt. I would like you to bite people on the butt. Oh, that's an interesting uh, thing. Grenade thing's got a cook timer on it, so you know how long it is until it explodes. What, were people seriously so bad with grenades in the past that they... Oh, they were friendlies. I almost shot them in the face. That would have been a very bad thing. I was tempted to shoot the gasoline tank. Now, I'm going to take this SC gun because... I'm going to take this just because I'm going to get more ammo for it, so... If it is the Federation's main weapon. Ooh, never mind. I see no helicopters yet. Where are the helicopters? Yay, it blew up. Oh, it's a two-shot rocket launcher. Okay. Whoa, holy crappy crap. Holy crappy crap. I don't see a helicopter. It just flew over our heads and tried to kill me. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. I don't have a rocket in the gun. Oops. This is going to hurt. That was a bad idea. I thought I reloaded before. Maybe it just didn't count. Kill it. Crap, I need to reload again. I don't like this. I'm used to a one-shot launcher, not a freaking two-shot, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm not used to it. Hit it. It's dead. Yay, it's dead. Hey, guess what? Oh, oops. Hit him. Come back around. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was actually pretty funny. Made it circle back around and hit him. Alright, I'll take the SC gun back, because like I said, it's probably going to have more ammo for it if it is the Federation's main weapon or one of them. I'll keep the sniper rifle for now. Probably can't hurt. No machine gun. Well, then again, we are ten years after the U.S. is basically destroyed, so I guess I shouldn't be totally surprised. All right, let's go. Uh, friendlies, okay, good. I was, yeah. 
Looks like a lot of friendlies for that matter. Was that seriously the end of the mission? Really? Okay, good. I was about to say, that can't be the end of the mission. That was ten minutes long. So there's a lot of civilians wherever we are. I didn't see that at the very beginning of the video. I apologize for that. Probably sounding like an idiot. <laughs> our dog's our gunner. <laughs> Riley, are you our gunner now? Aw, oh, good boy. You're gonna be our little gunner friend. You heard him. Hey, dog, you're supposed to stay when your master says stay. I'm gonna have a lot of fun talking with the little puppy here with Riley. I love dogs. I am such a dog person. I love dogs. Seems like a... I don't know. I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Yes. Walk with me. I was gonna try to get a sip of my drink there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams rounded up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, go get an eye. I'm ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long. So I'm sending you outside the wall. Okay, I'm... Link up with a recon team. Gather any intel you can on the enemy. Get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. Whose ships are those? Are those ours or theirs? I hope they're ours. <laughs> wow, that was a really short tutorial, combat tutorial mission. Wow. I call it no man's land. Span of destruction between LA and San Diego. Created when the was turned against us. The beaches and surf breaks of my own childhood were now mined and abandoned. Dad told us human got to operate in no man's land. It was too dangerous. Too unpredictable. If he was sending us out there, it must have been important. Yet. Still, I couldn't help but think this was another one of his tests. A lesson he was trying to teach us. Okay, well, that, like I said, was a really short combat mission, and if I read correctly, there's only 18 missions in the game. Is it on? Okay, it looks like we're good. So I guess that's it for that part, guys. Uh, next time, and my goal is to find one Rourke file, I'll talk about that later. But, next time, guys, we will head into the third mission of the game. So, see you guys then, and I hope it's a longer mission.